There's a particular tame I didn't get in Pooping Ascended, so we edit it here, and it's time I get one. Yep, it's an empty SC if I've ever did seen one. On our way back home, we'll see if we spot one. I actually want to go down because while well, there's nothing, see if I can't find another pearl cave. Because I know there's another pearl cave somewhere. Take me to the surface, please. Oh, I'm free. All right, which way is home? This way? Okay. There's one! See? Thank you. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Okay, this is gonna be a problem though. Die. Oh, well, this was a mistake. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Everyone, count with me. Shit. Please eat this. Please eat this. Please eat this. One. Oh no. Oh no. drop and pick up and feed the same button. Two. Two. Then I killed another one. Where the fuck is my Baryonyx? 
can't remember. <gasps> Ooh. No. No. officially need to be so close to me it's not even funny. Here it goes. Here's ten. This is a little bit of a lie. Are we sure this is where I died? Oh my god, the tracker has become such a pain in the ass. Yeah, they're all there! Kaiju's gonna die. <laughs> Good thing is they're passive and so you feed them. That one's only a little 15. Which means it's gonna give you a little 15 egg. Oh good, it has a health bar! Oh good. Okay, well. Didn't expect that. I wonder if we can lure it onto land for the diva. Oh, it's just going on a murder spree. All right, let's clear my shit. Hi, 
everybody. I'm back. This isn't what I expected, but I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Bird, you get to hold the rest of Mama's things. One of those to be safe. And take that. Take all that. All right. Mom's gonna go be a dumbass. Try to get its attention. Bring it up on land. Oh my god. from that holy shit or maybe from the cryopod i don't know but damn tk tk the beast man almost got an egg to hatch so hurry up bud we'll be getting him to land that'll suck oh do we go after the second glaucus <laughs> do we go after the level 15 too but I didn't know you were gonna fight another one. I can go back and get my Rex if you want. It's fine. I'm only minutes away if you need me. I don't know if they're hermaphroditic. So I don't know if they'll breed. I would hope so, but I don't know. But that's kind of why I was like, if there's a level 15, it'd be easier to breed up from... It'd be easier to tame to get a breeding pair with one, with one level 15 in the mix than not. Where the fuck did you all come from?
sure that that's seven. Ouch. Jesus. So here's the problem. I don't see no more jellyfish. Oh, bless! Everyone was so excited. I think it, I, I mean, to be fair, I mean, it gave everyone for PvP who didn't have, who had to like, you know, work all day, it gave them time to like, potentially be able to do it later on and be there for everything. But when everyone was getting on really early this morning, I was like, I think you're being a little cute. don't want you here. You are not for the children. I think they eat fish? She's not 
eating the fish. Oh, you know what I bet they eat? I bet they eat biotoxin. I bet they eat biotoxin. They might have Giga Rays, right? They might take a minute to raise. Or baby, or Wiver and raise, right, I should say. Oh, well, you're awake again. I got cryo sickness, though. Oh, it's because I have cryo sickness, I think. We can just stay here and raise this guy. Okay, I can pick you up again. Let's go take them to the water tame pen. That'll be better for them. Piranhas can't spawn in here, and then I'm not gonna worry as much. Because that was really my concern was like the Dilos and the Raptors and the Piranhas coming after them once they logged off. That was my concern. But if I have the Bassies, the Bucky's of Buffos, and the Megalodon here to keep the Bay Bays safe, then I don't think I'll be as concerned. dragon based on the blue sea the blue dragon sea slug ah glaucus is a unique addition to the draconis family with a stun inflicting electrical breath and immunity to electrical attacks most wild aquatic creatures avoid picking a fight but glaucus is damaging them with melee attacks damage melee attack damages and st stuns their attacker 
This creature's electrical attacks are fueled by Nadiria Venom and have a charge meter. Using electrical attacks will drain charge and consuming Nadiria corpses or biotoxin will, regra will regain charge. Their base melee attack also inflicts torpor. Below one third of their charge meter, they will lose the ability to inflict damage and stun on whatever attacks them with melee attacks. In the wild, they are initially passive, lazily floating upside down on the water surface near the groups of Nadiria. To tame them, one must acquire an egg. First, feed the Glaucus a total of 10 Nadiria corpses until it reaches max charge, which will cause it to attack you. Defeat it, and it will drop an egg and flee. Glaucus can leave water without dying, unlike most aquatic creatures, but dry out rapidly and cannot use electrical attacks when they are too dried out. Leaving the water applies a drying out debuff for 30 seconds, after which it will become slower, unable to use electrical attacks, and take more damage from attacks. Like their relatives, they are capable of breeding despite being genderless, and like other hermaphroditic creatures, both parents will produce an egg after mating. They are breedable. Baby Glaucus will only eat biotoxin as and though adults are carnivorous, they gain more food and health from biotoxin than any other sources. When tamed, if they are idle for too long, they will flip upside down and float to the surface. So cute! This has no gameplay effect aside from making them float and can be disabled through the radial wheel. The other radial wheel options is to enable or disable them automatically consuming biotoxin when below 95 charge for the sole purpose of regaining charge. Locus also has an alpha variant, which while initially passive is extremely dangerous to fight. Alpha Glaucus will always drop a Glaucus saddle blueprint, however, with randomized quality. Controls, okay. So they do eat meat once they're raised. So this is a uh, future spoopy, even farther future spoopy than some of the following videos that you're gonna be seeing next week. Um, coming at you to show you the grown-up Glaucus. Uh, we didn't get to play around with these guys as much as I would have liked right after they raised because we started pushing hard for Dragon and Overseer, so we haven't really, you know, done too much. But I figured today, I mean, why not, right? Why not show them off? As you can see here, we have Hesperus all grown up. He has a saddle. It wasn't too terribly expensive and he is just so cool ignore all the love evolved fish um they are everywhere oh i might want to put on my scuba the quick way to die isn't it <laughs> but here is hesperus our glaucus our the 160 to be rank all grown up looking beautiful i might add surrounded by pink fish um, they are pretty, they're pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest. They're pretty, pretty intense. As you can see, his venom charge down at the bottom is all raring to go. He even has additional levels. There must be a Glaucus nearby. Yep, there's another one right there. Let's go see, what level are you? I haven't run into any alphas, but you never know. Wild level five. All right, so we'll just take on this level five we're only gonna bite because much like wyverns glaucus are immune to other glaucus so i'm not gonna worry about that they are immune to the jellies and lovey and jellies are pretty good are pretty decent at also harvesting the biotoxin so that's cool there you go almost missed but they do have their crazy breath attacks, so they do have their electric breath that uh, is pretty crazy. Oh, if I had known that was a 150, I would have tamed that. Oh, well. You lose some, you know. You win some, you lose some. You are actually super cute. You are not worth it. So, I also learned that they have a pretty intense attack that um, draws aggro of everything nearby. So I don't plan on showing that off only because then we'd have everything at our doorstep and I don't feel like doing that. So <laughs> they will also uh, eat any biotoxin in their inventory that like will replenish that charge down there at the bottom. Let's go see what's going on over here. Oh, it's a pink one. 
A pink one might be nice because of the holiday colors. 190? Ooh, I might have to... I might have to bank a 190 Glaucus. That might... That might have to be in our future. But, yeah, guys, this is the awesome, the super cool Glaucus. Like we read earlier in the video, they can go on land, which I'm going to show you right now. Uh, they just do take a little debuff. Um, I am freezing. But here they are. I'm on land. Everything's fine. Oh, there's a love bug. Don't mind me just uh, murderizing that real quick. Thank you. Just gonna quickly hop off and grab this and hopefully nothing eats my toes. Cool. And let's get on out of here. Bye. Goodbye. I don't want any. All right. But that is the adults. They're super, super, super cool. And oh, their um, level up animation is also super cute. So let me do that real quick, really quickly. Um, let's, I guess, level up his health and then melee. And they do a little flip. Isn't it cute? They do a little flip. <laughs> but I adore them. They're super fun. I don't know how much we'll be using them in future videos, but if we have oceans to traverse, I will be pulling them out. So thank you guys again uh, for watching the video. Let me know if you're excited for the center or Scorched Earth more. I'm curious to see what you guys think, and I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!